Hello everyone, welcome to another Edo's Nerdcast, whatever it's called, there's a lot of words at the front of it. If you've found it, well done. Uh, I'm here with Sam. Hello! He's back again, the resident boy that likes things that I don't care about. <laughs> <laughs> the only way we can talk about these things. Both the only Josh reason I. why I'm here. <laughs> yeah. Uh, a big thing's happened in the nerd world, or even in the cinema world, which we'll talk yeah. about too. Uh, Zack Snyder's cut of Justice League yes. is going to happen. Yay. Which is, yeah. <laughs> yeah, well for me. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean... <laughs> Look, that's, that's the point of the thing. Sam has a lot more knowledge on it. He's listened to all of Zack Snyder's maniacal rants about what he was going to do and now he can do. So uh, we just we want to talk about it and I'll, yeah. I'll have some opinions on it. Uh, but Sam will have at least informed opinions on it. I mean, I, 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 mean, I just hope that Will's opinions don't make me cry. I don't think... I hope they won't. I hope they won't. <laughs> <laughs> so Sam, t- tell us... I, I guess the biggest thing, tell us what it will be well, in terms of what he thinks it's going to be at least. Because the whole thing was is that the whole movement started because he said, okay, there's a cut of my film out there mm. and he's recently said that what we got was only... Because he hasn't seen it at all. Yeah, yeah. Oh, the, the actual movie. Yeah, he, yeah right. he like refuses. Oh, yeah. It's funny. <laughs> um, but from people that he trusts and that he knows and that he works with who have seen it, yeah, um, they've sort of calculated that we've only seen like one-fourth. Yeah, right. Of what his envision actually <laughs> was. So it's it's not just them re-editing mm, what's already it's been a done. New movie. It's a whole. It's going to be a whole new movie, yeah. and they're also now going to be reshooting scenes mm. to add in. Yeah, to maybe sort of like fill up some gaps or cool. whatever. And then they're also finishing like the some of the CGI and mm. all that sort of stuff. So, do you, do you very, like? Because I know he filmed what? What was it like? Thirty five percent or something? It was like well, he he shot yeah. his whole thing right. Okay, um, it was just it, some it linking was just, bits. It's just yeah, some linking bits. And CGI, like, yeah, right. Because maybe just like some. I'm assuming maybe just like the pickups or maybe like yep. maybe. But the main thing that wasn't finished was like the CGI stuff. Yep. Like there were the some scenes that stuff. were finished. Yeah, yeah. Um, but. Yeah, I mean, this is where all the money is going into. I yeah. assume because yeah. I saw a a tweet from one of the like <laughs> one of the extras from the big fight, like the historical yeah, fight, yeah, yeah. saying that he'd been called up to do more stuff for yes. that. Yeah, so yeah, stuff yeah. like that. Yeah. I guess. Yeah. Um, because in that original fight, mm. instead of Steppenwolf, it was meant to be Darkseid. Right. Okay. Um, because if you look on Zack Snyder's Vero, yeah, he's got that. screenshots of Darkseid standing where yep. the old mate would have been. Right. And um, there was a photo today of like yeah. Darkseid and like the a- thing that I'm liking though that he's on Vero because I I mean just it's just visually I think it's pretty cool. Mm. Um, before it got released, it was coming out. Any sneak peek he would put up of it would be without color. Yeah. But yeah. now it's all in color. Sick. And I'm like, that's, that's cool. Nice. That's nice. It's also nice that he's keeping the app Vero alive yeah. because no one else is. <laughs> it's literally just a DC it's, app. It's just point. him. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, no. Yeah, that's cool. I didn't know that. Because yeah. I'd seen a lot, because I I mean, all of them had been black and white. And I've yeah. been like, it's yeah, an yeah. interesting choice, but that's yeah. cool that he's that it's gonna yeah. start so being that. So all like if you go on his because I was going through last night, not mm. last night, but a few nights ago at least. Every night. Every every, <laughs> yeah. every night before I go to bed. Yeah. Um no, but there is over 30 screen grabs that cool. he's put on there. Yeah. And all of them are from scenes that he shot. And in some of them, they are scenes where CGI would have had to been finished yep. for you to have get that finished mm-hmm. product. So you can see that some CGI is done, like on Cyborg and stuff. Yeah. Um, but yeah, there is going to be some. Yeah, stuff right. So it's, it. it's predominantly CG stuff yeah. that will then like inform <clears throat> yeah. the rest of it. But yeah. well, even the scenes that were in the movie, because they'd be different as well, because they're all they're all Joss Whedon's ones. Yeah. So, so even I mean, even the talkie scenes will be completely different. Yeah. Yeah. From, right. From what I'm guessing, mm-hmm. yeah, because um. There was a big thing I heard that like the the scene where they bring Superman back to life mm-hmm. in Zack's version that's totally different. Yeah, I thank God. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, because yeah, that scene and the end fight scene mm. was the biggest the biggest yeah. changes made in the movie, mm-hmm. um, which is where all the Henry Cavill <laughs> mouth c- c- CGI yeah, yeah, is yeah. Um, as bad as it is. But yeah, so. I'm assuming that we'll be getting all new versions of that. Yeah. Um, ac- the- according to what they've said. So yeah. no matter what, this is a whole new film. Oh yeah. Yeah. Even yeah, the yeah. bits that are like you, that you watch and you're like, that's finished, right? Like that. Yeah. Would be a different shot. Yeah. Because it's he's yeah, done yeah. it already. Because there's even like um because if you even if you compared some of the shots in the trailers. So the, yeah, the exactly. very the very first trailer we ever got for Justice League was all of Zack's right. shooting and mm-hmm. he did all of that. Mm. So if, if there's shots in that that Josh Whedon has mirrored and if you literally compare the two, they're very different in terms of like 
um, the setup of the camera, mm. the color gradings are yeah. different, and then Ben the Affleck's jokes. face is a lot fatter. <laughs> yeah, well, that's what I was going to say. Yeah. Are they going to just have to film everything again just for him? Because he changes weekly. Yeah, like every week it's he insane. looks completely yeah, different. Yeah, it's insane. So, like, I mean, well, yeah, they haven't um, they haven't said who is going to be coming mm. back. I do know that. Um, we will be getting dark side, obviously, because yes. the voice actor that did that has come out and said, yes, I have been approached and yes, we are, we are going to be getting mm-hmm. dark side. So that is pretty cool. Yep. Um, another thing is green lantern was said to be in Zach's cut. I was going to ask. Yeah. Nothing. Cause there is an actor that everyone th- thinks they know as the green lantern right. because he had come out and said that he had worked with Zach on, on justice league in right, a, okay. in a role. He, he says this, he goes, I played an air base related <laughs> character. <laughs> And I was like, "Fuck!" Yeah. So he could either be, a, yeah, that's right. So he could either be a extra that was at an aircraft hangar, yeah, or he could be. But green. everyone is just going, "Oh, he's Green Lantern." Yeah. So I mean, that I'm not exactly keeping my hopes up for. But yeah. there is the scene in the ask, proper yeah. cut where Superman comes down to Alfred, which was a deleted scene. Yeah, yeah. Um, that was meant to be Green Lantern yes. because yeah. there's been people that have come out that have worked on it that said we had the green light set up, mm-hmm. they had someone standing in with the face mask, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. So that's pretty cool. Yeah. Um, and then I think we might be getting Martian Manhunter mm-hmm. because um, Harry Lennox, who was in Man of Steel, yeah. Um, he is who Zach has chosen, who ha- he had chosen to be right. Martian Manhunter. Yeah. Um, and he's been alluding to a few things on his Twitter as well. Mm-hmm. Um, and Zach has kind of had his back on that. So yeah, I'm cool. guessing that maybe something's going to happen there. Yeah. Um, I mean, I'm not holding my breath for those things, but yeah. I'm just, I'm the, the main the reason. Yeah. Like yeah, the possibility yeah. is very good, but the main reason why I'm just very excited for this is because it's, a filmmaker's vision getting mm. realized and getting released because yep. you can only imagine where if you were making a film that you were very passionate about and someone came in and said, no, nah, we're going to change. We're going to do that. Mm. We're going to do that. And then it's literally just a shell. Yeah. Of yeah. Created. You'd be a bit annoyed. Absolutely. So having that be released now, you'd be like, this is so cool. Yeah. You know? And especially with Zach, like the reason he had to leave was such a sad, like a trip. Yeah. Like, yeah. So it's like, not only is it the film you didn't want to make, it was yeah. made because of something you had no control Exa- over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like- exactly. And I think a lot of people are supporting him throughout this because they feel that he was treated unfairly by one of us during yeah, all that right. because there was a lot of stuff saying that they took that as an advantage and a reason to sort of kick him off altogether. Mm. Um, to listen to those, those yeah, fans. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, I mean, if, if that is the case, that is pretty shit on their part. Well, right? I mean, the fact that he didn't <laughs> want to watch the finished film is yeah, probably yeah. a hint yeah. towards... And yeah. yeah, exactly. Like, if there wasn't anything more going behind the scenes... Yeah, he'd, know, he'd be a bit more he'd open. He'd be a bit but... more open to seeing at least what yeah. did come out. Um, because it's really funny because, like, people on Vero, when, when the movie did come out, um, I think someone mentioned... Someone asked him about a certain scene. Yeah. And he's like, what scene? <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> and I was like, yeah, cool. <laughs> yeah, right. He's not watched the thing. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Well, yeah. No, I'm. for me, I'm excited for it from the other side, which is yeah. just like, it's almost, it's very different, but it's almost like the Sonic the Hedgehog thing. Yes. Where it's no, like. Yeah, very much. This massive yeah. fan movement that changes yeah. what a film is. Yeah. Like that, yeah. that film prior to Sonic not looking, well, when Sonic was a demon baby, yeah. that film would be entirely different. Yeah. So it's the same kind of thing where like fans are having a lot more impact on cinema. Yeah, and which is cool. It's cool. Yeah. But at the same time, I'm like, that's yeah. a worrying thing. No, yeah, 100%. <laughs> because like the one thing that I um like got a bit, not so worried, but I was kind of a bit like unsure about. Yeah. It was literally about 10 minutes after they re- like announced this Snyder cut. Yeah. Um, David Ayer, who did Suicide Squad came out and he's yeah. like, Oh, well I've got all this footage. Of and then it was just Squad. like, everyone and now moved. there's <laughs> this slight movement over to the Suicide yeah, yeah, yeah. Squad cut coming out. Now I, okay. There is possibility of that coming out, but I don't think it's going to happen until we see the Snyder cut and they mm. see how well Absolutely. it does because they're not going to, because like they put it like they like a lot is riding on this. It's like three hundred million dollars is the rumor. Um, or 30, yeah, 30. yeah, yeah. I so, mean, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I, yeah, yeah. So it's they're they're putting between twenty and thirty million yeah. into into putting this on the screen. Yes, um, which isn't much. Yeah, to no, be honest, in yeah. terms of the movie, yeah. not much. Yeah, but like, yeah, it's it, not three hundred million, is it? <laughs> <laughs> no, not even no. Close. Um, but yeah, in terms of like other directors coming out and being like, oh, well, I've got this cut and this cut, mm. they're not gonna back any of that until they see that this yeah. is worth their time and money. Because if this comes out 
and it just fucking flops, yeah. then they're going to be like, we're definitely not showing your cuts. To yeah, absolutely. Because no one's going to watch it. It's, it's very interesting because I feel like we've only just, because of Disney+, Plus, scratched yeah. the idea of like pop culture streaming things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But until like yeah. Disney+, Plus, there was no... Apart from DC did have its thing, but yeah. I feel like that didn't take off yeah. at all. Yeah, yeah. So like... In terms of making money, The Mandalorian was, like, the first, like, will this work? Yeah. Will people sign up for Star yeah. Wars? Yeah, yeah, So, like, yeah, it's really riding on, yeah. if this works, then maybe the more things will happen. Yeah. And, like, I, I I can see the possibility of Suicide Squad because there, yeah. is there is apparently a movie there. there. Yeah, yeah, a movie that could happen. But I also wonder, because Birds of Prey does so much to get rid of Jared Leto... <laughs> Whether they would want that out well, that's, there. That's yeah. the thing, yeah. Like, And I've even seen people talk online where they're like, look, even if this does come out, we're not going to care that much because... It's not. It, it doesn't It make wasn't sense, so no. much the story in the movie, but like the Joker in it was. Like, not yeah, people totally. liked him. I yeah. mean, I don't hate him. No. But it's yeah, yeah. not the ideal Joker you I don't like. want more. I don't, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I've, I've had my fair helping of yeah, yeah, yeah. him as the Joker. So then would they... I I would be so down if they if they know in the future because they're going down the route of Birds of Prey Harley Quinn movies yeah. if they know who they want for the future mm. to then bring that into a new Suicide Squad movie because be cool. then you've got a three yeah, thing with Harley cool. Quinn yeah yeah like that'd be sick like whether there's a Joker in James Gunn's Suicide Squad yeah whether they could reshoot because. Yeah. I, I am certain that HBO Max and, and Warner Brothers in general will be like, yeah, sure, you, here's money to shoot new Joker scenes. Yeah. Like, if they made a Suicide well, Squad Well, because apparently... Um, oh, do you mean, like, in terms of, like, bringing, like, a new actor and stuff? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, they okay. would be, like, yeah. Oh, yeah. full on board. But, like, yeah. how much do you need? You want... You want you, you want 300 million. You want Tom Hanks? <laughs> sure. <laughs> we'll pay for that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But, um, no, but, like, back on, like, the whole streaming thing, like, that is a massive factor. Yeah. Of why this has become possible, because... There was a, I think it was Hollywood Reporter or someone. They mm-hmm. had an exclusive interview with Deborah and Zack Snyder yeah, after right. it was released, giving their point of view on like what this was like mm. having it come to be. Yep. And they said that the possibility of this coming out was never a thing yeah, until right. about, I think it was about a year ago mm-hmm. when the streaming services came to be. So when yep. they got talking about like the um, service with. HBO Max. Yep. When that started happening, that was only when, you know, the possibility of the Snyder Cut coming right. became a thing. And, and that was probably when it was really heating up, I guess, as well. I guess, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I'd, I'd say so, yeah. yeah. Because Warner Brothers were never going to release like a home release. No. Was gonna, because that would cost them way more than $30 million yep. to put it on Blu ray and all that sort of yeah. stuff. There's the same reason like Wonder Woman and Black yeah. Widow aren't coming straight to digital. Exactly. Like, yeah, yeah, massive exactly. movies. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and then, yeah, there'd be a way more of a loss of money there. Well. Yeah, absolutely. Um, but yeah, so having, like, it was Deborah who said that, who is the wife of Zack Snyder, mm. um, for those of you who didn't know. Yeah. Um, Deborah. Yeah, <laughs> Deborah. Um, so she's the one who said that if it wasn't for HBO Max, this probably wouldn't yeah, be happening right. at all, mm. which is a pretty crazy thing. That's pretty huge. It. Yeah. It's, yeah. And I mean, because uh, it's, no, Stargirl. Is that on HBO Max? Did we get to the bottom of well, that? It, it wasn't. Was, because I heard that it was meant to be... Because I thought you were saying... Because we, we had a conversation yeah. about this earlier. But because I thought you were saying that it was intended for like the CW yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, no. But it's no. so different. Yeah. But, so it's no, DCU. Like, it's, it's yeah, original. Yeah, yeah. It, it's, yeah. It's like the DC Universe TV. Um, but then, I don't know, because I've heard stuff about that it was also meant to yeah, be right. HBO Max. It feels like... It definitely feels like yeah. it's bigger than... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because, yeah, I mean, that's a different podcast. But, but totally, it's interesting that they went... With HBO Max over yeah. the DC universe yeah. as well, because I've I feel like I've heard repeatedly that that app's mm. being that's getting closed down, but then it never goes anywhere. In terms of HBO, the DC universe oh, thing, DC. Oh, like I've right. heard yeah, that because yeah. it didn't do well. Yeah, like right. that's not doing well at all. <laughs> yeah, no one cares. No one cares. Um, but I mean, it's still getting Doom Patrol's got another season. Yeah. I don't think Titans has gotten picked up, but right. it's interesting that they went HBO Max is where we're going to put this. Well, unless they. Like, because Stargirl was a new show, mm. unless they were like, let's put it on HBO, on HBO Max because we intend to put everything else on yeah, there. Yeah, it'll get so it's like, over. why would we backtrack when we can just mm. move forward? Yeah, um, that's a good point. Yeah, but there is a cool thing though on HBO Max, they've officially called the DC Universe the DCEU. Cool, so good. It's officially called that now. It's got a normal cool. name now. Yes, <laughs> yes, it's not, it's hasn't got three different variations. DCCU? <laughs> DCCEU? DCEAEABU? <laughs> it's in the game. <laughs> it's in 
uh, yeah, good. I'm glad. I'm glad yeah, to hear yeah, that. Yeah. That's a good point. I mean, I I'd be so down if everything moved to HBO Max. Yeah. Because like I love Doom Patrol. Yeah. Titans has got something in there. Yeah. There's something like there. It'd be cool if it, yeah. they started to build a world over there. Because like, I was very invested in the first season times, but the second season I was a bit like, eh. this. The, the character they choose to kill in like the second to last episode. Yeah. Oh, it's like the last episode. Right. Did you get up? Do you care? No. I'm, uh, uh, I'm not going to say who or anything. Oh, well, yeah, just go ahead. Yeah, but, right. like, an incident happens yeah. in, like, the last ten minutes mm. after the boss battle's over. Right. And they go to do... They go to save this thing, mm. and then they're just dead. Oh. And it's very stupid. And, and like... Like, so, like, you don't even see how it happens? Well, you see how it happens, but you're just yeah. looking... You're looking at it happen and Like, go, it's so sudden that you're like, what the hell? What's <laughs> happened here? It's, like, it's the equivalent... It's... It's the epitome of like this. This actress or actor mm. clearly has something else to do, and so, so shit, we've so got to get rid of them in this so episode. So we're gonna write them out. Yeah, but then, <laughs> that, but then they leave that thing of like, and maybe they can come back later. Oh, and so then it's like no. you've doubled down. It's like yeah. a dumb death yeah. that doesn't mean anything, and oh, it's like oh, that's a bit annoying. Yeah, but yeah, so Titan but, season two yeah. was a write off. Yeah. Oh Jesus. <laughs> but um, Doom Patrol is amazing. I can't wait for that to come back. Yeah, so cool. yeah, I, I, I know you're a big fan of that. Yeah, because yeah. it's dumb. <laughs> I like dumb stuff. Um, and speaking of dumb stuff, I, that's another reason why I kind of want to see this because it sounds so insane. The, the Justice cut. League cut. Yeah. The know, cut. No, like, because, yeah. It sounds so stupid. Genuinely, that- <laughs> when you think about it, there's so much happening with it that it doesn't sound true. Yeah. Like, like because the, there was a big panel he did, like, in a theatre once mm. that I think you kind of cut down for me and he's yeah. talking about everything Cause, yeah, that Yeah, because he, he was, expl- like, we've always, like, it was said from before they started shooting Justice yeah. League that it was intended to be a two-parter and then eventually yeah. a trilogy. Yes. So we always knew that he had a trilogy in mind for mm-hmm. Justice League at least. Yeah. Um, so in, yeah, he held a, I mean, I guess a convention a summons. for himself. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, he was doing a thing where they watched um, Batman v Superman together and then afterwards he came out with him and a bit of the crew that worked he, on it. He was holding out. a copy of Justice League and it was on fire. <laughs> it was on Everyone's fire. Everyone's like, what's Justice He's like, no. You're never going to get this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, no, but yeah, so he was talking about where um, the Justice League were headed. Yeah, after, after that movie, yeah. After that movie. And it was just about like dark side and the whole time travel aspect. Mm. So the scene we got in BVS where Flash came back to warn Bruce, we were going to see how that came to be. Of course, yeah. Um, And just a whole other stuff that linked a few things together. Mm -hmm. And listening to it, like, damn, that would have been cool. Yeah. (laughs) Um, But yeah. It's just, yeah. Well, because that's the thing, because it's it's going to... The room is like four hours, right? Or yeah, something it's, it's, like that. Well, it's see, all heard, it's a TV I've heard, series. Yeah. I've heard four to five hours. Yeah, and then I've heard all a six part a series. Yeah. Um. I mean, a part of me likes the idea of a series. Yeah, but then like, a part of me is like, that's not what he wanted. Big long, uh, yeah, as well, like yeah. a big long movie because like. If it was like four hours, mm. I'd, what, That's be, fine. I'd, I'd watch maybe yeah, like yeah. two hours a day. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, I, yeah. I'd, I'd, I'd need a bit of a break. Yeah, you know, and it's going to be intense as well. So. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, at least we hope so. Yeah, yeah. Well, the moustache um, will be. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, but, yeah. Uh, but, yeah. Yeah. So, wait, so you you prefer a movie? Yeah, actually, maybe I would. Yeah, J- just because it's it's what, what he, it, yeah. yeah it's was his original yeah. envision because I quite I think I, I heard someone say. It'd be cool. It, it, the series idea is kind mm. of like a six arc issue run yeah. of a, sh- of well, a comic. Well, like that, like that is very appealing as well. Yeah, that's yeah, that's yeah, pretty yeah. cool to me. And it depend on the length. If it's not like Mandalorian, where it's like thirty eight minutes, and then the next episode it's like twenty minutes, and then yeah. the ne- it's like what's going See, on? See, the here? thing is though, is that the only reason why I wouldn't want it to be a series is I wouldn't want it to be a thing where it's one episode a week. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like have waited, to drop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. Um, like it would be cool being a series because they could leave like cliffhangers True. maybe because yeah. like that would be a cool aspect yeah. but also I wouldn't be like fuck why is this not a four hour movie I can just watch right now that's true because when, it, when it, especially when it's all out and you watch it back to back you're yeah. like this could have been four hours exactly yeah, yeah. yeah exactly yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah I mean yeah overall I'm keen but just more keen that it's happening for Zach really yeah, yeah absolutely it, it's, a, it's, a, it's a cool thing and I mean in like if you're a fan of film mm-hmm in the words of the Hulk, you have to see this as an absolute win. <laughs> yeah, totally. Absolutely. It's another movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, I was talking to Josh about it and Josh was like, mm, I don't know. And I'm like, yeah. you're not paying for it. Yeah, like, no. you, you, there's none of your money yeah. is going towards this thing. Yeah. Like, as... as as insane as it is, like, I, the thing I say, like, I, I am worried about how much sway the public has to the yeah. industry because yeah, obviously, yeah. like, the best films of all time were yeah. c- created in complete isolation yeah, yeah, and given course. to the public. Yeah, of course. But... At the same time, it's like, 
it's it was always it was it's going to happen whether you want it to or not. Yeah. So it's an exciting yeah, yeah. thing. But like um in terms of like the whole money thing, mm. like not putting your money into it. The one thing that I think I would like to convey to people, which mm. I think is a very good point, is yeah. that when this does come out, don't pirate it. Yeah. Or don't like find a way to find to actually a way watch to it. actually buy the service yeah, yeah, yeah. or watch it legally because so much has gone into actually getting this made yeah. and it's been such a whirlwind of emotions mm. leading up to this and all the effort that people put into it. Yeah. Um, and people have like gotten a heap of, heap of money behind it for like the suicide fund and all that for his daughter. Yeah, and all absolutely. That. So there's been a lot of cool stuff. So yeah, like if you do want to watch this, yeah. just watch it the right way. Yeah, and support what is happening. Because I've heard know? like in in Australia at least, because we don't have it might it be on Foxtel. I think is the, yeah. the kind of. I, th- I think you've got to. From what I've heard, I think you've got to like register your interests or something. Yeah, yeah, and then. It happens that way, but I don't know. Yeah, and like, assumedly at some... Oh, the, 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 this is my interesting thing with streaming things, is yeah. so few of them get like a home release, like a DVD, yeah. Blu-ray thing. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. like, I feel like it needs it, uh, right? Yeah. Like, I mean, I feel like maybe if it does well, mm. again, like it's it's that thing it's where... It's all they, on, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It, it all rides on how well it's received on yeah. HBO Max. But if on that it does well... Yeah, just release a steelbook or something. Play, yeah, no, yeah, that's all we want. <laughs> that's all we, we want. We just want a good steelbook of yeah. a good movie. Yeah, because like it's it's like Mando and like Stranger Things. The fact that that is so hard. There is, I think it's like Target exclusive in the whereas, US. Whereas like the VHS. Yeah, yeah. It's like the fact that that show doesn't have like an easy to get oh, like no. DVD. Yeah. And, like you think it would because like that VHS thing is really cool. Yeah, it's sick. But, and um, then and then on the other hand, like the Marvel Netflix shows, you can just get for ten bucks at JB because oh, no yeah. one cares. Yeah, totally. Yeah, so it's yeah. like I I hope. I hope if it does well, they, they do a home release. Because also, if your internet sucks, you're never going to watch yeah, this exactly. in 4K. Yeah, yeah. But it would be cool. Like, even if they came out with, like, a Zack Snyder, like, home release thing where it was, mm. like, you know, maybe comes with, like, an art book of, like, his concepts. Totally, yeah, and, like, yeah. Maybe, like, a bit of the script, like, his Yeah, make it big. Make it, Cause, yeah. Because th- that's the biggest thing is, like, they need a return on this. Yeah, So like, of course, yeah. Make it an expensive collector's yeah. thing, but just... Yeah. Yeah, just do 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 something nice for something us to cool. actually own yeah. physical. You Each know? one of them should come with a follicle <laughs> of Henry Cavill's mustache hair <laughs> in like a little plastic bag. Just oh. one strand. Well, I mean, I'll add to this podcast just so it's out there, but before this we got the news that apparently he is yeah. staying as Superman. So yeah. I'm very happy about that. But it's interesting because I, I saw a little bit. It's like mm. it's not that he's getting another movie. No, it's, it's just that, that he's in he's in the role. Yeah, yeah. He's Colson. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So it's yeah, it's not that there's another movie in the pipeline mm. for him but it's the it's the he's still here he's, he's still gonna be yeah. around which is so good which is good because there's yeah. no other one like no. at this point he is even though he's been in like two and a half movies or whatever, yeah, whatever. it's like he feels already like the rdj uh, as iron man sort yeah, of, thing. Kind of thing yeah whereas and galudo in the same respect it's yeah. like those two everyone else is pretty interchangeable momoa i, I just not a big fan but it is kind of like only him and gal have really put made a stance as their character yeah, so far, yeah, so it is yeah. good to have at least those two yeah, yeah. locked down. Because, um, um, yeah, like, I mean, Flash and Cyborg were okay. They, they were good, but yeah, it's yeah, just yeah. because they haven't made a stance in the universe yeah. yet, it feels like yeah. you could do whatever yeah. with those. Um, I mean, Ezra's got some issues. But, uh, <laughs> <laughs> look, they were willing to put him in crisis, so, yeah. you know, there's a little bit there. Yeah. But, yeah, I, I'm, I'm keen for more of him. Yeah. It'd be cool if they did a Shazam uh, Ultimate Cut and I know, all they did was yeah. just lift the frame up a bit. <laughs> yeah, well, because, again, yeah, there's people who are, like, going a bit over the top on yeah, right. being like, oh, we'll Ultimate Cuts Shazam. of everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's just like, you know, don't look that far ahead. Yeah, you yeah. Know? yeah. But, like, because I, def- I can definitely say that I don't think... Like this isn't gonna re spark any yeah, yeah, storylines. Yeah. No, it's no. like it's you, you, finishing. Yeah, the line, like yeah. you you have to watch this, and even though it was alluding to more stuff to come, you've yeah. got to watch this knowing that nothing else is gonna come. You got to look at it as like all those DC animated movies where it's like yeah. this massive universe, but there's nothing else. Yeah. Like it only exists yeah. for that hour yeah. and a half. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah um, no people. I mean, I'd be keen if he stuffs in some cool little. Oh, it's totally! Like, yeah, like yeah. put Billy Batson yeah, somewhere in a scene or something. Yeah. That'd be pretty. Hundred percent. Mm. Um, because there was even like people were saying in the Whedon cut of Justice League, mm. the beginning with the kids. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They were yeah, saying, wouldn't that be cool if that was like the Shazam kids? Totally, that'd be like, good. That would be cool. Mm. But um, yeah, yeah, I think that's that's something that's it's interesting to me because that was actually that was another point Josh put to me mm. was he he was a bit upset mm. because 
like a lot of people, most people, Samuel, he was like, I, I thought we were leaving that universe, which is what DC of Warner Brothers clearly mm. are trying to do is mm. distance themselves from Snyder. So he was a bit upset that they're going back yeah, to right. the, the vision well, of that. Well, I think, I think it's purely just for this. Like, like I yeah, said, yeah, it, it's, it's, it's not going to re-spark anything. No. Um, like they may get him back every now and then to maybe like be a producer. Mm. Because he was going to oversee. Right? Yeah, because like he, yeah. he oversaw Wonder Woman and Aquaman. Yes. Um, yeah. I don't know how much of an impact he had on Suicide Squad, mm. but yeah, I mean, it's not. Yeah, yeah it's yeah. not. It's like, not going to bring are, it back. They are definitely trying to escape that. that yeah, I mean, Snyder, you know, and also like monetarily, they can see that this other vision they're doing yeah, is yeah, it's yeah. working for it's, them. It's, so. it's going front. They had yeah, yeah. major like Aquaman was a major thing for them. Yeah. Birds of Prey did well. Yeah, Birds of Prey did fine. Yeah, Shazam, like, Shazam did fine. It definitely like critically did well as well. Yeah, so. yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. So, so they're they're going in the right direction. They've mm. fi- they fi- finally gotten their pacing. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so Josh, it's okay. <laughs> yeah, we're not I, going backwards. No, no, no. Yeah. I, I definitely would say we're going backwards. It's yeah. just them acknowledging this one thing. Yeah. And then and moving on. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it would be cool. Like the thing I've always thought for mm. the Snyder Cut. Yeah. And we probably discussed it as well. Mm a cool animated movie would have been sick. Yeah. So, like, if they want to continue the Snyder verse, like, like, do an some animated, animated films yeah, yeah, or something. Yeah. Yeah. But not in their DC. Like, no, do, new style. Do it in, like, a Clone War style. Yeah, or totally. Something. Like, something that's rendered. It's insane. <laughs> We've had many a discussion oh, about this, yeah. listeners. Yeah. We just can't take their style. It's insane. <laughs> like, it's almost sometimes better to just not look at the screen and just listen to just the voice acting. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, yeah. 100%. Oh, it's bizarre. But, yeah, like... I would, or even like there was a rumor. It didn't get uh, come to fruition, but a mm. continuation of Tim Burton's Batman series oh, cool. in a comic book form. Yeah, that cool. was going to happen, and That's then that cool. didn't happen. Like yeah, I became right. for stuff like that. Yeah, because is there a has Zack Snyder done comics? There was because he no no. I mean, any, I don't. There is a there's com- a Snyder. There is yeah, a yeah. Snyder in the comic world. Yeah. But I, I, it's not him. It's not him. Yeah, no, yeah. No. no, but like things carrying on from like. TV or film into comic books does work. That's true, yeah. Because it happened with Smallville. Exactly, again, with yeah. Smallville. Yeah. Um, but no, yeah, so Smallville carried on to, to a season 11 in comic book form. Yeah. So it can be done. Yeah. You know, and, you know. If this does, again, it's, yeah. if it does well, I'm does sure well. they're going to. I mean, yeah, if it does well, I feel like they will then brainstorm what they can do with it. Yeah. But it will most likely just be like a home release. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. It's not, it's not going to be anything to like. Prolong this storyline. No, or prolong no. this sort of. Yeah, I know. could, like, I can almost imagine that for this Justice League thing, he's gonna work out a way to make it feel final. Yeah, like find a way, even even though it sticks to what he wanted, <clears throat> to find a way that doesn't leave you wanting more. And that that is part of the reason why it's got that rumor of being four hours. Yeah, yeah. Because he he is a gonna want to just throw everything because. Think about it. like they fought for it for so long. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you're not going to want to leave anything on the table with yeah. this. You're going to just want to blow your load and put everything yeah, out. Everything there. you yeah. wanted. Yeah. So I mean, and I'm I'm more for that. Like, yeah. Good on you. Because we would do the same if yeah, totally. You know, we we had like, one Here's shot. Everything. Yeah, totally. You know? One shot to make the movie exactly. you wanted. Yeah, yeah. Just, just put everything in there. But um, but yeah. I mean, I'm, yeah. I'm very intrigued to see how it all pans out. Yeah. <laughs> and and you were saying like surely he's going to put a thing at the end for like his daughter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A nice. That, that'll hit hard. I, I, I reckon it would be nice if he did that. Yeah, yeah. I became for that yeah. <clears throat> in some form. Yeah, because it's, it's – it's, I, I I remember when they announced that it was all changing and people yep. – just fans, man. The fact they were like, yeah, hell yeah. And I'm like, you know he's leaving for a very sad reason. Like, yeah, exactly. When people were – it's like, yeah, like they were stuff like, like yeah, that. They were like, it's, oh, thank God he's leaving. Cause yeah. he's gonna be, I'm like – You know he's not – yeah, that was a big <laughs> yeah. one. Because, <laughs> um, yeah, I was just like – so oh, it's like, relax. so I'm happy, <laughs> yeah. especially for that, that I'm yeah, like, yeah. he's going to get to finish yeah. it. And, um, but yeah, I was, I, I just had a point on my head and now it's cool. Oh no. But yeah. Maybe no, it came no. out with that bit of maybe, saliva. Maybe, yeah, <laughs> yeah, maybe, yeah. With that, yeah. yeah. Bowl full of saliva. Yeah, no. Um, but yeah, I mean, I don't know. I'm I don't just, I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm intrigued to see it. Yeah. But, you know, like with any movie that comes out, it does of course have the chance of being shit. Yeah. But that's just that's the gamble with mm. film and TV. Yeah, you know? that's fine. But um, but I'll yeah. take I'll take it I'll yeah. take it because I, I like I feel like even if it is shit, mm. it's gonna be very fun to watch. Yeah, because there is gonna be so much going on. I think even yeah, if it is yeah. the dumbest thing yeah. that makes no sense, yeah, it's gonna be fun to watch. Because um, one of the things that I am very like not excited but very interested to see mm. is that um back again on like when they bring Superman back to life. Yeah. 
the, the black one of the yeah. So there's a the black <laughs> suit. Oh yes, yeah, suit yes. <laughs> um, so there's a there's a screen grab that Zach put up where um, they're pushing Superman's coffin through the Kryptonian ship. Yes, and as they do that all these doors start opening with like different suits. Sick. And that's when we see the black suit for the first time. Mm-hmm. And it's a thing where the suit, not the suit, the ship can feel its presence because mm-hmm. it would only open if a Kryptonian was to walk through those. Right, cool. Because the whole thing with Superman being dead. But Cyborg says, I've got a feeling. And it turns out that Cyborg is actually a Kryptonian. <laughs> this whole time. Imagine that. Cyborg was actually Imagine Kryptonian. That. Yeah. Um, because yeah, the whole, like, and the reason why that would make sense is because um, when, Superman technically dies. Yeah. He's not dead. Mm-hmm. He's in like a regenerative state, I think they call yeah, it, okay. where it's like he, because it happens in the comics. Mm. He's not dead, but his body's just healing. Yeah, right. But it's, it takes a long time. It takes a very long dead. time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that would be why the ship can yeah, sense cool. him. But um, no, yeah, I just thought that was a very cool aspect that for them sick. to add in what, what the it, movie. When you say the suits, is it like Spider-Verse where there's just like a different suit <laughs> a different from suit. every movie? No, well, like... in, because there was the... There was a deleted scene that came with the home release mm-hmm. of the league, yep. where it was uh, Henry Cavill walking through the same. I, I believe yeah, it's probably right. the same corridor, mm-hmm. and um, an armored suit cool, opens okay. up, and then a black suit, and then you've got the classic like red and blue yeah, so, suit that opens up. Yeah. So it will probably just Some be simple those things. Yeah, 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 just yeah. like simple stuff. Yeah, but it's like also it's stuff that we saw in Man of Steel as well. Yeah, so right. It's oh, yeah, so, yeah, okay, cool. Because we saw, like, the armoured version of, like... Yeah, a, on, on the planet. On the planet, yeah, yeah. yeah. So it's stuff that still yeah, is cool. linked, which yeah. is pretty cool. So it's not them just, like, blowing their own and being like, he's a kryptonite suit. Yeah, he's, he's you know... He's a uh, Christopher Reeve, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, spandex. Yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, That's cool. That'd be really cool. Yeah. I yeah, mean, there's a lot of... Um, as a Marvel nerd, because that's all they do, I'd be keen for them to put some stupid things out there. Oh, yeah. Like, I would, like Kingdom Come <laughs> suit and, like, things yeah, that don't even make sense. Cool. Like, I'd be fine with 100%, it. Hundred percent. Yeah, yeah, that'd be that'd be really cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah cool. I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm excited to see it. Uh, it's sometime next year, in whatever form. Well, yeah, because they're. I mean, <laughs> it's, again, it's a good it situation. Like, yeah. Again, it was a thing where people are just, you know, talking crap, maybe. Yeah, yeah. But there was a lot of people speculating that it may be out this month next year. Right. Okay. So maybe like a, a year's year time. Thing. Yeah. Um, because Zach is working on a trailer. He, yeah, right. he, he did confirm Sick. that. Yeah, cool. Um, because like there was a fan. I th- I'm pretty sure it was on Vero. Yeah, yeah. But um, they were like, "Do you have any idea for it? Like, is there any like promotional pr- stuff? Yeah, 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 like yeah, stuff like a trailer or a poster yeah. or whatever." Um, and he was just like, "There's a trailer coming." Sick. Us, and I was like, "Okay, cool. Yeah, <laughs> cool." It's what we've always discussed. Yeah. It's like we would have our movie on Google Drive and yeah. be like, oh, "I'm going to make a trailer for my yeah, movie." Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but the thing that I am very the reason why I'm very happy for him is because he's been doing watch parties online mm. during this whole COVID yep. business. So we've watched like Bat- Batman v Superman and Man of Steel now with him. Yep. Um, and during that time, it's just him like sitting in his theater room watching the movie mm. and then he'll talk about it and he'll yep. bring out like the original concept book sick and go yeah, through cool. like stuff with it. Um, but you've seen him in a very like relaxed sort of state. Mm. Now, if he's ever on a stream, you can see he's like in that work. Yeah, mode, right. And it's very cool because <laughs> he's got sick. on like his little hat and like his yeah. glasses, and he's you can ready see to make he's shit. doing stuff. <laughs> yeah, cool. Because I, I, from what I know, they like started working on it like as soon as they got like the go ahead. Yeah. Um, Good. So it's yeah, that's it's exciting. Cool. And like back in, I think it was November of last year when we got like all the actors that were talking yeah, about yeah, yeah. stuff. What was happening then? was they were, like, they did all that to encourage Warner Brothers to at least watch yeah, the cut. Right. Yeah. So then in January of this year, mm-hmm. they screened the cut to Warner Brothers yep. and watching. HBO yeah, Max. Okay, cool. and, and also to Jim Lee. Yeah, weird. <laughs> yeah. Okay. That guy's got way too much power. He does. He's, <laughs> He's got a lot artist. of sway. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Um, but yeah, so they screened to all of them and then that's when they were like, yeah, yeah right. This. Because I feel like if it was going to be shit, mm. Warner Brothers wouldn't have sat so, down and watched no. it and been like, yeah. okay, let's do it. Yeah. But yeah. there's got to be something there yeah. that they liked that they know we would like too. Totally. And if you're a diehard fan, I feel like you're going to appreciate one aspect of it. Yeah, anyway. there'll be something. So, it, yeah. it, it, either a fan of comics or movies. Yeah, like, There'll exactly. be something in yeah, there. Yeah, 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 yeah. Exactly. But, um, yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's true. So, so it's kind of like when um the whole Tom Holland thing and then Robert Downey Jr. is like, hey, uh, can you just 
just stop fucking about, just keep the kid. <laughs> yeah, just keep like, the kid. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So it's, that was the, that was all the celebrity, all yeah, the Justice yeah, League yeah, pretty film. Much. That. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, That's so funny. Yeah, and I, I like that because when all that was happening where you've got like Ben Affleck and Gale and like tweeting, yeah. we heard nothing from Henry Cavill. Yeah. And we are like, what's the go? And he's the, But yeah. he was the one that was there to announce it was Zach. So yeah. I feel like that was cool because it was kind of, they were saving him for when it was. For the was. big reveal. For the big reveal, yeah. yeah. So that was very cool. I will say Ben Affleck's like, it's coming out. Looks like he's he's being held in hostage. Like he looks <laughs> like, so like, sad like the about. Video that he yeah, yeah, I'm so excited that the yeah. uh, the Snyder Cut's coming out. Because uh, <laughs> he yeah. just knows he's gonna have to come back to yeah, something, no, he, whether it be like ADR or <laughs> just over the top of the camera, over the phone is like a, a dumbbells and stuff, and he's just staring at it, going staring at it. Yeah. See, but he is like he's, he's pretty. Still, yeah. He's in good shape now, but I feel like. Um, with, like, the time constraint they have, yeah. they're definitely not going to put them through, like, the athletic yeah, yeah. side of things. But he's skinny enough that they could just put him in a suit. and Because yeah. the suits have got muscle suits totally. in them anyway. Yeah, yeah. So he'll look he'll be fine. fine. Yeah. Even, if he, even if he does have to come back. But I feel like maybe they've announced Henry Cavill because maybe he will have new scenes in this. Mm, mm, yeah, yeah, that yeah. That might be yeah, cool. Yeah, that'd be good. Because um, I'm more for some Cavill. Oh, but, gotcha. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, with four hours, you can't leave him for the yeah. last half hour yeah. again. Yeah. Because the like part of the reason why Justice League was so important to Zack was because Man of Steel, Batman v Superman, and Justice League was going to be a three-story arc. Yeah, yeah, Superman. yeah. So it's finishing up that side totally. of things, I guess, yeah. which is pretty cool. So, I mean, hopefully yeah. that happens. Hopefully that happens. Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm, I'm keen to see whatever, whatever this friggin' <laughs> movie is. Happens, yeah. yeah, whatever this four hour, yeah. six hour, whatever it is. <laughs> 12 hour. <laughs> My favourite thing was when he posted the like film cans and it was like yes. eight hours or something on it and everyone's like, the movie's long! I'm like, that's the rushes. That's not the finished movie. <laughs> Cause he, um, Calm yeah, down, he, everyone. He put up a photo of... Yeah, like the cans. Yeah. And it said 214 minutes. Yeah. So that was the... I That's think like the assembly. Like, that was like the three-hour thing that he had done. Yeah. Um, but now they're like, because he's adding more. Yeah. Maybe close to four hours. And I'm like... Buddy. Okay, cool. Yeah. No, we'll have a marathon. We'll watch it all in one. You say you're going to have a break. You won't have a break. Yeah, There's no way in hell you'll have a break. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, no. All right. Well, that was a good that was a good discussion. Yeah. I mean, did you have anything else in the pop culture world that you wanted to discuss or... Uh, well... well I guess staying with DC, Stargirl, have you watched the latest set? Yes, I did. Yeah. yeah. It, it's, I feel like it leaves, because the first one was so filmic in its like kind of structure yes. where everything's a bit slower paced. That, yeah. This latest episode, if you want to, I mean, you can briefly talk about what you felt about yeah, episode no, one, but if you want to hear our full thoughts, uh, as in Josh and I, there's a podcast for that. But I felt episode two was a lot more of a show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel like episode one was much more of a spectacle. Yes. And then episode two was much more of a show. Right. Yeah, yeah. But the one th- the one thing in that in that episode that I, I actually laughed at yeah. was when there's like that final battle in the car park at the end. Yes. And the bad guy... I will say, so quick, the spoilers for this, if you only came for Justice League, oh, we're, yeah, yeah. we're talking about Stargirl and Fob. You can leave now. Yeah. Like, you've already been here for th- a half an hour. It's and, fine. and I really do. Like, if you have been here for that long... Good job. Good job. No one else does. <laughs> Thank so, you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So go on. Spoiler, yeah, yeah, no, spoilers sorry. ahead. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. I, I, I should have, me more than anyone should have been like spoilers. Yeah, so good. But, um, no, so he, yeah, so w- what's his name, the bad Stripes? guy? Oh, the bra- Grain Wave. <laughs> grain Wave. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So he he has Stargirl pinned on the ground. Yeah. And he goes, <laughs> maybe next time you'll think twice before hurting my son. Yeah. And I was like, wait, That's are, what you, you're are like- you doing all this because she blew up your car? Yeah, totally. <laughs> What? I'm like, isn't the point of this the Starman thing? Like, to stop yeah, the stuff yeah, going yeah. on? And then he says that, and I was like, hmm. Yeah, yeah. I will say, is it like both fights with that dude, mm. it's the same thing. Like, she just calls the staff again. Yeah. Because, like, the first episode, she gets the upper hand because it comes to her and yeah. she does the thing and yeah, pisses yeah, off. Yeah. And then she does the same thing again. So kind you'd of. think the guy would learn. You'd think he'd learn, yeah. yeah. And then she, like, pulls, like, a thing on him where she, like, puts it on his forehead. Demon soul shit, and then, yeah. Like, I don't know if that was, like... I don't know if the staff can, like, get rid of, like, like mutant powers, powers or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, maybe that's what's happened. My my impression was, like, a Harry Osborn Spider-Man yeah. 3 thing where he'll yeah, wake right. up and not remember that he's a villain yeah. and then over the course of it. There was one thing that I did really like in the episode, though. Mm. Um, and I will just, like, go into a bit about this. But, Please. of course, Josh and Will have got their thoughts. But I'm not always here, <laughs> so yeah, yeah, this yeah. is my time. Yeah. Um, but, no, because you know how I, I remember you and Josh were talking about how, like, um, his son is so, like, scared of him. And you're yeah, like, why yeah. is he so, like... Yeah. What I notice in this is when they're sitting in his office mm. and he goes to his son, think about, like, what I'm thinking yeah, of. Yeah, yeah, What I got from that is it's like he hates the fact that his son... Is nothing. Is nothing compared yeah, to what yeah. he is. And yeah. He hasn't got the same trait as mm. him. 
and then his son hates him because he hates his son for that reason. Totally, yeah, so yeah. I, I thought that was a really that was cool. cool. I, I, I that really, really like really that cool scene. That dude's eyes are intense, though. Oh, he's like scary. when he's looking at him, his yeah. eyes are like cyan and he's, he's blue. Just, <laughs> he, he reminds me of a piece of cheese. That Blake. <laughs> yeah, he's sense. just string cheese. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's so skinny. He's very, like when when. Uh, the magician or whatever walks in and he's standing there and like, that made me laugh. He was like, why are you wearing that? I'm like, yeah, fair question. Yeah, yeah, fair question. You look like an yeah. idiot. <laughs> like, no, but yeah, no, but I thought that that little moment between them two yeah, yeah, yeah. where it sort of explained that conflict, I thought mm, that was really That well was done. a good scene. Yeah. Was, and like, we knew where it was going with the money thing, but that was a good, it was a good moment. Yeah, it was yeah, really yeah. cool. I did but, like um, that. But yeah, no, but overall, I mean, the, the show's been pretty good. Yeah. I mean, it's, you know... Yeah, I definitely out two episodes in now. I'm like, it does the job. Yeah, like there's nothing that's making me really excited. Yeah. Like, cause like it's just the thing with like Arrow and Flash mm-hmm. and stuff. They set up a really interesting premise. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, like, yeah. straight away it's yeah, like the yeah. list in Arrow and yeah, like the reverse Flash and yeah. Flash. This is just like eight bad guys that are around. Yeah. Like yeah, there's no yeah, real exactly. thing yeah, yeah. yet. Yeah, there's no like there's no cause for them. Yeah, you know. like and even the staff coming to her, like even it's not your dad. Fuck, fuck, <laughs> fuck off, mate. <laughs> even if it is her dad or it isn't, it's yeah. like even her call to action feel. And again, it's probably in the comics, but it feels real weak. It's like she right. opened a box and yeah. the staff is hers, and she knows how to use it straight oh, yeah. away. It's kind of um because I heard Jeff Johns talking about it. Mm. It's like the guy that overlooks all like, the yeah, yeah. stuff, and so he was saying that the one thing that he's happy that they that he got to implement in yep. the show was the fact that the staff had a mind of its own. Yeah. So it's very much um, the same as like in Marvel with Doctor Strange and his cloak. Yeah, absolutely. So once the cloak sort of chooses you. Yeah, you've got it all. You've sort of got it all. Yeah, sort yeah, of yeah. Thing. So totally. it's the same thing with the staff. And, um, but no, but like he also did say, and I'm hoping that means it will get more interesting, mm-hmm. but he did talk about how episode three is going to be more about the actual like star man side of things like the actual cool. justice group that they yeah, have. Yeah, cool. Before. Good, good. So that would be cool. I'd be you know I mean? I think that's the the thing I'd I and it gets annoying by the end of Arrow and Flash. Like yeah, Flash yeah. doesn't even do it anymore. Yeah. But like the flashbacks. I kind of want some of that in this yeah, show. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. just following yeah. very boring people. Yeah. Because I think that's the other thing. They don't do anything. Yeah, not really. Like, the dad doesn't do no. anything. No. The mum's got a shit, boring job. Yeah. And, and, then, then, and, then, and then she's got a brother who's just... Oh! Yeah. <laughs> I mean, no, I, this episode but, I did like. The, the dad and him were pretty funny. Yeah, no, but the thing that... Because I remember in your last one, you and Josh were like, what time period is this set in? Mm. He's got a switch. Yeah. Yeah, he's got a full, full blown so switch I'm now. So I'm like, okay, it's modern It's definitely, time. definitely yeah, modern. Yeah, yeah, It's like, I... Again, like I said in the thing, I'm like, it's an, it's probably an Earth 2 thing where yeah, everything's no, just a bit 100%, weird. Yeah, 100%. But yeah, it's yeah. just weird to watch, man. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah, just it like... Because yeah. I feel like in the comics and even mm-hmm. in Flash when they go to Earth 2, yeah. they have a tone. They're like, yeah. this is Earth 2. Yeah. Whereas this show is like a Switch but also a 1950s car. Like yeah. they've got a bit of I a think strange... It's just, I think he's just got the car because like we could see what it could do. Then, oh, yeah, it's true. Car. And then the, the other car is... Brainwaves car as yeah, well. So yeah, yeah. So I yeah, assume yeah. they just have those cars because they're like one of a kind. Yeah, you yeah, know? yeah. So that's yeah. Sort of thing. They, but, they can um, pass. Yeah, but uh, yeah. I yeah. Mean, overall, it's been okay. It's been fine. Yeah. I hope. I do hope. I just need because there's nothing I care about yet. I need a. I need an arc. Yeah. yeah you know, yeah. that's like for the that series of Doctor Who. Like <laughs> if they had, if that first Jodie Whittaker series had something going on, we, we probably would have liked it a bit 100%. more. So I just, I think I'm waiting for, yeah. and if episode three is it, I'm waiting yeah. for like the arc to kick yeah. in. Yeah. I mean, hopefully, hopefully that is the episode where the mm. arc kicks in and it's kind of like, here's what is more yeah. at stake. Yeah. Um, but yeah. We'll see. We'll, we'll see. see. I mean, cause she took out a, the, what seems to be the biggest baddie in two episodes. So yeah. that was interesting. Yeah. And, and, and left him in a coma. So. Yeah. Yeah. Totally. <laughs> Ah, it's fine. The kid will work out. He's got powers by the end. Like, all... That's probably my biggest problem, Sam. Yeah. And and I know it's because it's in the comics, because that's the point of Stargirl. Yeah, yeah. I just... I'm not... I'm, I can see that the show is going to be... All the old ones that died at the start mm. are going to have their young versions, like her, her nerd table and right, stuff. Like, okay. that's where we're going. Well, yeah, because I do know that, that like, those people at that nerd table They're do all the eventually characters. become someone. Yeah, some all like, the heroes. Because they're even on the poster, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's, There's like a cat the, yeah, girl. Yeah, yeah. There, yeah. So, so it's they, like... they do become something. But I'm just not yeah. looking forward to the moment where there's, like, eight 16-year-olds in costumes. It'll be sky high all over again. Yeah. <laughs> at least they knew that was shit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm just... I'm, I'm, I'm so scared for that part. 
I just don't yeah, want it yeah, to happen, yeah. Sam. And I know you're Smallville. No, well, like, because <laughs> it's... The thing is, is that, like, I went into this with a bit of knowledge because they do touch a lot on them in Smallville. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So in Smallville, you do actually see, like, Hawkman and, like, Starman. Stargirl and stuff. And um, but, yeah, you do also see Stargirl. Yeah. Um, but same thing is in Smallville. They're Starman. Yeah. The guys right at the start. Yeah, right. Like, like, when they do start getting onto this yeah, storyline yeah, yeah. of all them... Um, because in Smallville, they're not even on a different Earth. It's all, yeah, it's, right. it's all on the same Earth. Yeah, yeah, of course. So they're just a group that happened before the, the, the League. Right. They're just older. Yeah. Which um, almost feels that way in, in yeah, even, yeah, even yeah, the Earth yeah, 2 yeah, stuff. Pretty much, yeah, pretty much, yeah. yeah. So, um, yeah, they, they do touch a lot of them in Smallville. I hope, because in Smallville, they introduce um Dr. Fate. Yeah, I yeah, that would of, be cool. Because he's meant to be, like, immortal. Yeah. And it's whoever... Uh, where's the helmet mm. becomes fate, but the helmet has to sort of choose you. Yeah, totally. Um, so if they, I mean, if they bring him in, that could be very cool because mm. that could lead to a lot more stuff. I just feel like they need that uh, hero character in there. Yeah. Like, because right now it's just her and yeah. Stripes, and I yeah. just feel like you need the older yeah. teacher because I know they want him to be it, but it's like he's it's, not a hero. Yeah, he's not. He's, no. I mean, his name is fucking Stripes. Yeah. <laughs> totally. But I mean, just thinking of fate. Yeah. Like it'd be cool if he came in mm. and he was like the one to sort of like cement everything and be totally. like, here's what's happening. Yeah. And then you could like, because he has that ability to sort of like, um, not travel, but kind of like see the past mm, and future mm, stuff. Mm, yeah. And yeah. You can use him for like the flashbacks. And yeah, stuff. totally. Like, yeah. <clears throat> that'd be pretty cool. That'd be sick. Yeah. Um, uh, Dr. Yeah. Fate's such a, every time he pops up and things, I'm, it's always really cool. He's very interesting. Yeah. 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 Cause he's in, I think he's in, uh, what is it? Young justice and stuff like oh, that. Oh, cool. Yeah, it'd be good. I think I think I might have sent it to you, but someone had like Capaldi or something as a Doctor Fate would be cool. No, I didn't yeah, see that. But that, oh, that. that would yeah, be cool. cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But we'll see. Voice. <laughs> yeah, the, that voice coming out of it. Or yeah, just the voice because the helmet's got its own voice a lot of the time. I think. Yes. Yeah. 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 So the helmet pretty much is, is its the own character. being. Yes. And then yeah. once you wear it, it like takes over and you got no. That's control. right. Yeah. And then when you take it off, you're like, oh, okay, that yeah. 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 Cool. Yeah, Doctor Fate would be good, and I feel like it'd fit because like. Even having Solomon Grundy through me, because I thought that mm. was like, I mean, it probably is like mainline Batman. Yeah. In the normal yeah, universe, yeah. So, so they're clearly doing a little bit yeah. of. And apparently, the uh, guy that owns the gym, Crusher. Yeah. Apparently, he's meant to be a big surely, character. Surely, surely. Because I don't want to keep seeing him if he's not important. It's holy shit. <laughs> I mean, a thing as well, being someone that goes to gyms, they're never that exciting. Yeah. <laughs> he like, made us sound like a. He made us sound like the most motivating place ever. It's never like it's that. It's not that. <laughs> Although, if you, if I ever come to your place and I'm eating a fucking burger and you slap it out of my hand, I'm going <laughs> to slap you. Sam. It won't be powerful, but I will hit you. <laughs> that was so. Holy funny. shit. Yeah. No. No. Nah. <laughs> like yeah. I. I uh, yeah, again, like I said in the episode one podcast, I'm in it for Luke Wilson. Yeah, what is it? yeah it's Luke, isn't it? I think, I think so. Yeah. yeah, I'm in it for that dude because yeah. he's so much fun. Yeah. Like, even the stupid montage was fun because like it was him. Him doing the, like, the, the, the robot? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, even yeah. that was cute. Yeah. That was good fun. The thing that I do like about that robot, though, is that they built a one-to-one scale yeah. thing. It's yeah. insane. Very cool. I, I, <laughs> I, I just love when movies and TV shows make a practical yeah. thing. Yeah, it's well. It's the reason the first Iron Man's worked better. Yeah, because it was a real yeah, suit. Yeah, yeah, very yeah. No, I'm, I'm, I, I'm keen to see. I, like I said in the first one, I hope it picks up. Otherwise, I'm gonna fall off. No, no, <laughs> like, no, no. And like I, like I very much like because I wasn't overly impressed with like the thing that impressed me about the first episode was the visuals. I yeah, just yeah, yeah. It looks very. Yeah, good. it does. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I, I finished watching it. and I was like, shit. I hope this isn't like those other CW shows where like. It gets a bit interesting, but then you fall it's off. On. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. we, yeah, we're <sighs> we're so prone to that. Yeah, totally. Like, uh, yeah, after Crisis, I'm like, I'm gonna do it. No, it's gone. Yeah, I watched like two episodes yeah, of Arrow exactly. of Flash, and I was yeah, done. Yeah, yeah. But that's because they structured the Crisis thing so poorly. I know because Crisis finished, and then shows were at the start or at the end yeah. of Crisis. Like it was all so over the, the thing place. Why I because I, I kept on watching them after Crisis, but I kept on watching them because I thought mm. that. Okay, they're all in the same earth. We're going to have some cool so stuff. So surely you know? they'd cross over yeah. more than just the crossovers. That, e- that end of Crisis is like, this is amazing. Yeah. This is great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, so, you know. Nothing. Nothing. Just Nothing. Sort I, out your stuff. <laughs> I, I almost don't want to because I feel like Josh might watch this yeah, yeah. or listen to this because he hasn't finished Crisis yet. Okay. He hasn't finished Elseworlds yet. Well, Josh, um, if you haven't. <laughs> yeah. We're going to split. No. I, I would say the, the moment where you realise 
that the thing has happened. Yeah. Like when they're both there, I'm I'm gonna mm. moment for you so you can no, say yeah, go ahead. when they're both there at yeah. that that thing. Yeah. On and the, then on like the pier. On the pier, yeah. like that was that was probably the coolest moment. That was great. Like yeah. when that, they realize yeah, it's like because then that guy comes over us and from yeah. <laughs> and they're like. When Wait, did we how, take this? How do you know? Yeah, yeah. yeah and they're like, was... um, just, and they're like, oh, excuse me, sir, just, you know, out of curiosity, how long have we been doing this thing? Yeah. And he's like, oh, well, from the first time that you guys both showed up. Yeah. And we were, they were like, that what? It's such a sick yeah. moment. Yeah. Like, they have done a lot of it in Supergirl. Right, because right. Because in Supergirl, I mean, spoilers if you haven't watched Supergirl, yeah, or yeah, if you yeah, care. That's fine. But um, in Supergirl, Lex Luthor is a good one. Yeah, of course. Yeah, because so that's er- a big er- challenge. Like, to to the world, Lex Luthor is like their Obama. Yeah, you know, like that was probably the reason I wanted to yeah. keep watching Supergirl. But Supergirl still sees him as a villain. Yeah, that's and cool. She and she's and, and like Martian, like a few people. That yeah, I have think had it's like touch. her, her sister, Martian. Because yeah, so Martian <laughs> touch. So yeah, <laughs> if, if Martian Manhunter just touched you. <laughs> You basically know about what happened in Crisis. You, if Martian, Martian Manor, uh, through the power of touch, can give you depression, basically. <laughs> yeah, he basically. can make you remember every bad yeah. choice you didn't know you, you made. You're like, crap, I did that during Crisis? Yeah. <laughs> All right. but, um, but yeah, I mm. mean, because I think the, the series are finished now, aren't they? Yeah, everything's on hold now yeah. until next year. Yeah. I mean, I hope that they take this time to just... Make Sorted one show. Yeah. Just make a Justice League show. That'd be cool. That's yeah. all I want. Yeah. Yeah. No. Uh, yeah. I'm, I'm keen to see where it goes. I think Doom Patrol starts up next month cool. again, season okay. two. Yeah. And I think Harley Quinn. You haven't been watching that, have you? No, I haven't. No. Yeah. no but I, I know you really like it's it. It's very so, fun. Yeah. Cool. It's very good. Yeah. yeah. But um, that's wrapping up pretty soon. Yeah. Uh, that show, it kind of does the thing I wish a lot more DC stuff does, which yeah. is like play with the lore a bit more. Yeah, cool. Like, yeah, it yeah. really turns yeah, stuff yeah, on yeah. its head a bit. Yeah. So that one, that's really cool. I mean, I guess Arrow and Flash, like, the Flower of, the Arrowverse did it, but they didn't mean to do it. They just did yeah. it because they didn't have Batman. So they're like, yeah. uh, uh, that's your villain now, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> Here you go. That whole storyline is now a woman. It's like, okay, sure. Oh, my God. Um, whereas, yeah, Harley Quinn has a little bit more play. So you do a DC podcast. That's fine. Is there no. anything else DC happening? No, not really. I mean, it's pretty good that this was a DC podcast, though. Yeah. I mean, it's good to keep everything contained. It's good, yeah. yeah. I, like, I'm trying to think. There's, there's not much. I mean, we watched the uh, Justice League Dark movie yeah that, that that was okay that was cool yeah that was, that was cool that was I, pretty good. I think it's a bit wanky with the deaths like <laughs> at first i was like this is cool this is a bit yeah. dark but then when there was yeah. like starfire with a like a yeah. intestines on the other yeah. i'm like guys come on now yeah see and like i'm just like will knows but i'm not the biggest fan of like animated films yeah, yeah, yeah i just to me live action is more interesting yeah so i watch it but i watch it very loosely yeah totally yeah <laughs> you know yeah because it is it's t- like You've got your spider verses and like films yeah. that really play with animation. Yeah, yeah. But the TC animated movies are the baseline of what <laughs> animation can be. Second. Yeah, unless uh. there's a sudden 3D model like that one from one section. Yeah, like it was. I think it was a really cool story, but it mm. it felt like something I and it is. I, I prefer to read. Like yeah. I think I think it'd be like cool in to comic read. form. Yeah. Right. Would be yeah. great, and like yeah. the the one takeaway from it is that there is no one else that could ever play Constantine. Like that dude, yeah, it's just cool. perfect. Yeah, yeah. It's so good. I did notice though when um it's Cyborg, Flash, and Superman all talking together at the start. Yeah, they sound so similar. They do. They did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like can't you find someone just different voices, very different voices, yeah. so you can sort of you know, make it a bit different. Yeah. Well, and the, the thing that always confuses me with those movies is it's like there'll be one movie where they nail everyone or yeah. they nail certain people. I'm yeah. like, keep them. Yeah, yeah, Just yeah. keep that one person. Like, yeah. they, I think one of them, or it might have been Young Justice, Nathan Fillion, is mm. Flash. And yes. it's just really, like, upbeat, really cool voice. Yes. And I'm like, keep him. Keep him. And then, like, Nolan North in Young Justice plays Superman and yeah. Superboy. Yes. And he's great. He's a great Superman. Yeah, just use cool. him. Like, stop... Like, Actually, I, I had no idea he was Superman. That's pretty yeah, cool. Yeah. It's, it, it took me till halfway through the series. I'm like, yeah, hang cool. on a second. Hang on. That's not enough. Um, the, the one that I quite like is Ryan... It's not Ryan Johnson. Ryan, <laughs> <laughs> the guy, uh, Dwight from uh, Office, The Office. Oh, he, he? He plays Lex in that animated really? movie. Yeah. So that's what I really liked his Lex in that. That oh, was good. Oh, yeah, no, he... Like, that is a good Lex voice. Yeah, yeah it's very so good. He, he, was, he was Lex. And I think he's that's been so Lex a few times. But, yeah. So, wow, so that was a good that. that was a good pick. And I think there was uh oh Zatanna mm. was the voice of Lara Croft in the Tomb Raider games. Oh cool. So I quite like that as well. That's cool. Mainly because the whole that whole animated what a movie. Crossover. Yeah, I know. <laughs> that whole animated movie she's just in pain. So I'm like, that's definitely Lara Croft. Yeah. That definitely. sounds like because yeah, yeah. all because all Lara Croft does in the games is she she ever goes, I'm gonna go over there and she whispers really quiet like that. Or she goes, ah, 
<laughs> and that's all Satana did in the friggin' thing. Oh, that's so funny. Um, but yeah, that was, that was good fun. Yeah, that was good fun. Nah, there, was. there doesn't seem to be as many animated ones this year. No, I think uh, I think yeah, yeah, yeah. But I think maybe it's because they're trying to transition that's true, their yeah. style. Mm. Um, because I think they've got there's a movie yeah, coming. Because I think they're doing an All Star Superman. Yes. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. That'd be sick. I think that one is the last one where it's. Oh no, maybe it's that's the new one. There's, I know there's a Justice League, like, okay. fresh start kind okay. of movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe that is their, like, Maybe. final thing. Because I know that they've got one more where mm-hmm. it's going to be, like, this current style of yep. animation. And then, and then after it. that, it's going to be, like, a reboot and they're going to do this new style. I mean, yep. I don't know. Yeah, the new storylines and stuff, yeah. I just hope that the characters move smoothly across the screen. That's like, all I hope. It's just, I've never seen animation like it. It's like, so janky. It's that's insane. The, that's the only word I can yeah, use it's so to, janky. to think about it, you know? I just, and, like... But then there'll be like a sequence that looks really, really good, yeah, yeah, yeah. and it's like, what happened? Yeah. Why? Like, obviously, you focus. Yeah, it's yeah. very strange. And then there's a like, sequence where they turn to three D people. And yeah. Like what? Because there's like there's three animated Spider Man series over there, and yeah. like I've just never seen anim- animation like it. Yeah. It's so bad. It's so odd. <laughs> yeah. It's so odd. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I'm keen to see. I want to see what the new style is because I'm, yeah. I'm hoping it's not just like better drawings. Like I, I really hope because they, they released like a screen grab. Like a yeah, yeah, yeah. I really hope it's not just the fact that they've put a thicker black line around them. Totally, and like a bit more shadows and stuff. Yeah. Like I hope it's a new animation style, yeah. not new art style. Yeah, exactly. Because ah, because <laughs> at some points we've got to leave this. Because at some points okay. it's like watching a comic. It's like your eyes are flicking between panels of a comic. Like, that's how janky bit. it yeah, is. Yeah, yeah, a little bit. Which maybe I that's did, what they want. The, the thing I did like in this I noticed, though, is that there were a few scenes that were, like, if you were reading a comic, yeah. but the panels were very much yeah, yeah, comic-esque, yeah. Yeah. which is pretty cool. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, just... It's very odd. Just do better. <laughs> I, and also, it's not a spoiler, it's a comic book. Read the comic if you're going to watch. But, like, I did, like, even though I don't think I followed it at all, yeah, I, I, liked, I, <laughs> I liked at the end when they're, like, won the day and then whoever it is, I think Constantine or something's like, you've got to make another flashpoint. Like that was a pretty cool like flash moment. Yeah, yeah, I don't yeah. understand it yeah, at all. No. But like Because I think it might be alluding to them doing the rebirth. Yeah, thing. that's that's right. Because there's so. like six flashpoints. Like <laughs> every five years, something something yeah. new. Rebirth, uh New Fifty Two, Flashpoint. Yeah. What's the other one? It's like insert. Is it insert? Is that a thing? Insurgents or something? Maybe. But oh, that feels familiar. But resurgence. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That might be another maybe. one. Which is like, it's cool. I think that's the one thing. I like that they do it. Marvel don't do it as well. I like yeah. DC's reboots because they make it an event. Yeah. Okay. A lot of Marvel's ones, yeah. it's like an event, but I don't care. Yeah. Whereas DC's you like, mean like in terms of like the comics. Yeah, like an yeah, in-universe yeah, yeah, reason yeah, yeah, for cool. everything okay. changing. Whereas yeah. Marvel's like canon r- rewriting things is usually like. <laughs> Oh no, that character's dead now and it's replaced by that person. Yeah, right. Isn't this cool? Whereas DC's yeah. like, the universe is gone! <laughs> Everything's gone! Everything we know is ceasing to exist. It's gone completely! <laughs> And then by the end of, but before we reboot it again, it'll pretty much look the same again. But yeah, you know, yeah. with the same animation style. <laughs> yeah. Thanks, guys. Oh, oh man. man, yeah. No, I, I, yeah, yeah. I actually got a question on um mm. when I did the ABC Me takeover the other day. Yeah. Someone was like DC or Marvel, and I just, I just went with Marvel movies, DC yeah. comics. Bye. Yeah, yeah. Like yeah. that's all I've got. <laughs> yeah. Because like it's it's that thing because like I even got asked this. Um, well, I didn't get asked, but I, I was on a podcast with my friend Rui. Mm. Um, if you guys don't know Rui, read Unity Inc. on Instagram. Go check out his stuff. Yep. Pretty good. Is it Mum- Mumble Boys is the podcast? Yes, the Mumble yep. Boys. Yeah, that, yeah, yeah, a, yeah. A lot of fun on there. Yeah. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, so we, because he did a, we did a stream mm. last week where like he does his new streams where he'll draw like a variant cover. Yeah, And then cool. we just talk about stuff over the top. Yeah. Um, so we were talking about this, like the Snyder Cut thing. Mm. And... I was saying how, like, yes, I'm a very big DC fan, yep. but I'm also a very big Marvel fan. Mm. I'm not, I don't necessarily prefer one over the other, yep. but depending on what's being hyped at the time, I'll just yeah, weigh yeah, yeah. in yeah, absolutely. the way of that. Yep. So I was saying to him how, like, you know, I'm not blinded to being like, oh, everything that DC does is great, or everything mm. that Marvel does is great. Like, yeah, you've got that medium yeah, point absolutely. where, you're like, they both fuck up sometimes. <laughs> yeah, they're both really good oh, yeah. sometimes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. But, um, but yeah. Yeah, I mean, totally. It's yeah. A, and I feel like, I can't tell if it's going away or it's getting better. Yeah. But it feels like maybe people are getting there with that. And it's probably because DC movies are picking up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it feels yeah. a bit less like there's a battle of the two yeah. now, which is good. Because you can't tell me that if 
this whole Snyder Cut thing, mm. say it happened with like an Avengers movie. Oh, yeah. That like this movement would be going along way quicker than what. Well, the thing is, yeah. well, that's the thing because I saw a lot of like people, because as they are, they're idiots. They're like, <laughs> what Marvel movie? What? And like, pretty much the the biggest one would be Ant Man because right. Edgar Wright was originally the director yes. and writer, yeah. and that's right. Yeah, yeah. You know, that project was going to be in Phase One before yeah, Avengers right. even happened. Yeah. So it's like a lot of people have been like, let's make that. It's like no. See, yeah. See, I, I that's feel- a not that's a movie that doesn't exist. Yeah, yeah. That, that's where people are getting very. Um, like they don't understand the whole thing that these things are only happening because the footage is there. Yeah, absolutely. Like they like Marvel. But ninety percent there. Yeah, yeah. Like Marvel aren't going to go. Okay, let's reassemble a whole new crew, whole new story. Make a movie. Make a whole new movie. Uh, I, and, I mean, yeah. I guess the biggest the, the thing that people should realize with the, mm. the in terms of that is that's where the what if series could go. Like if they want to do yeah. something like that, there's room yeah. for that now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But they're not going to make a new no. movie. Like they can barely. They've got like seventy movies planned for the next four years. So yeah. like just. Just let them do and that. Like four TV series on Disney Plus. <laughs> the latest is that Falcon and Winter Soldier and One Division are still, still, yeah, still, still good to go. Yes, that's pretty good. We'll see. I'm getting more keen for them. Yes, because at yeah, first yeah. I was like, okay, cool, but I was mm. like, I'm not going to go out of my way to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm, I mean, I, I, we're, we're ending this with Marvel, I guess. Yeah, <laughs> but um, <laughs> I, I was actually thinking about it this morning that. Thank God Shang Chi is filming here because mm. they can they they're able to film now. Yeah, like they're going back to filming because they were filming in I think they were filming in Melbourne. Did they all stay here during yeah all, like, yeah, no, yeah, but yeah. like during like the whole COVID? I'm pretty thing, sure they did. They stay yeah. here during lockdown. Yeah. Okay. So they they they're getting back to it. Yeah, like cool. I, there was a tweet from someone I know that mm. <laughs> they were filming Shang Chi outside a gaming bar that I know in really? Melbourne. Yeah. Because they, they were look, looking and they were like, something's up with this, and it was like very clearly wow. it was the Marvel thing. Which bar was it? Because I may have been there. Uh, oh, I think it, I can't remember. If it was it was the one called GG Easy. Yeah. But um, it might have been. There's a new one that's just right. that's just opened up. But yeah. Yeah. Cool. But yeah. Fair so enough. it's a good thing they're filming here because <laughs> at least we do the right thing and yeah. At least at least we've managed to you know get that curve flat. Right. <laughs> and actually you know <laughs> mm, to actually not be dying. Uh, yeah. I actually looked at that the other day, like mm. the curve, because it's yeah. that's always been the thing. It's the flat yeah. and the curve thing. Yeah. And I'm like, I've never seen the fucking curve. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so I looked up the curve. And what is the curve? What is the curve? <laughs> is is it actually flat? And I looked it up, and it, and it's like legit. It's crazy to see yeah. how like it was it's insane. up, just this insane amount, and then it just went down. Yeah. And then Friday the twenty fifth or whatever it was, it went up to thirty again, yeah. and then and then it's come back down. But yeah, just yeah, actually yeah. seeing yeah. how well we've done is yeah. mind blowing because. Yeah, and, like, when you put it in par with, like, America and the UK, it's, like, like, like the, the yeah. UK, I think it's, like, they're having, like, 10,000 deaths a day or something. Yeah, totally. Like... It's something insane. From what I heard. I don't, I don't know if... Like, don't, don't quote yeah, me. Yeah, yeah. But it's, like... It's, an, it's whereas astronomical. Whereas we've had, I think... It's the less last than a thousand, like, isn't it? No, it's less than, like, 100. Yeah. It, like, the, the last... Well, not less than 100 now, but yeah, the last yeah. number I saw was 107. Yeah, right. Um. So, that's... Yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah, you know when you compare it to America, it's had over a hundred thousand deaths. Absolutely. Like and like the thing that the thing I was thinking about because um I got a mate down from Darwin and mm. obviously a lot of Australia has areas with lower standards of living and yeah. stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. And like most of America is fairly well. Like they we don't it's, they don't really have an indigenous yeah, community no. that's living yeah. out and yeah. and like thinking that that possibility yeah. in in our country the fact that we've done yeah. well with, yeah. with with areas that and it's the thing as well where america always just think that they're way better than everyone but i'm like yeah but when you have health care yeah that, that's, that's why so we're true, yeah. that's why we are all okay because yeah we were right? able to get better yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah and because we didn't care about making money we cared about just we're doing now yeah yeah. Now. <laughs> yeah yeah i think that's enough yeah i, mean, I, feel I like think that's enough yeah it's a good yeah just to sum up yeah uh the snyder cut very intrigued to yep. see what they do. Glad it's happening for yes. Zack Snyder and the film world. Absolutely. Um, Stargirl, if you haven't watched it, yeah. check it out. I Feel mean, free. Yeah. We're not as pressed about uh, how you watch that one comparatively no. to, no, no, <laughs> to no, no, Snyder no. Cut. <laughs> just, yeah, but just su- support it. If yeah, you can, yeah. yeah support, support the Snyder Cut. Yeah. Find Stargirl. Yeah, you, find, you can find it, find it somehow. If it's on a USB on the street, good on it's you. It's fine. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, it's, and also uh, yeah, it's cool that Australia is not being a bunch of fuckheads. Yeah, <laughs> it's cool that we're safe at yeah. the moment. <laughs> yeah, <we're, laughs> until winter kicks in. <laughs> oh god, Sam, it's getting cold. Like I, I, we've got to finish this thing. Yeah. I was talking to to my cousin last night, and yeah. we're like, "How cold is it?" She's like, "And she's in the mountains." She's like, "Oh, it's like four, six. Oh, like, okay, great. We're all gonna die. Um, 
Look, it's fine. I still, <laughs> despite people being out and about a bit more, I think yeah. they're still doing pretty well. Yeah, we're doing. Okay. There's definitely still yeah. a lot of like, like quarantine, not quarantine, but like distancing and yeah. shops. Yeah, you, like, you can see people are worried, but mm. they're being safe about yeah. it at least. But uh, thanks, thanks for joining yeah, me. Yeah, thanks so much for listening. Yeah, to all you and yeah, Will. Thanks for having me. That's all right. I always appreciate it. I don't have enough information about DC, so <laughs> yeah, no, I'm always here if you need a please a, a third man or Neto. <laughs> Absolutely, we'll, we'll we'll buy you a microphone. <laughs> Yeah, totally. We'll buy you a microphone before they put out the next, like, Game of Thrones spin-off or whatever it yeah, is. No, I <laughs> yeah, nice. All right, until the next one, uh, what do I do now? I think I say, well, I say Will out on Spawn Point. I don't think I do. I think I just say bye bye I think I just say bye bye uh, bye bye That'll do. <laughs> Good. Nice one.